We're gonna open this sucker, don't you worry. What's up crew? Welcome back to this 3D Machines production. Today we are going to open up my gift. Now you guys put some awesome suggestions in the comment box yesterday. A lot of people had some funny guesses and a lot of people had some realistic guesses. Saying that, let's get into unwrapping my present. Yeah! Okay, it's time to clean up. We gotta work before we play. Let me put this wrapping paper back, I'll get back to you. Yesterday's video was phenomenal, it turned out excellent. My girlfriend actually helped me with it. It definitely put me in the Christmas spirit and I hope it did you. Now at the end of yesterday's video, I ripped off a little bit of the wrapping paper and now I wanted to finish unwrapping my actual present today. I'm glad you guys took initiative to click on today's video. I want to thank you very much for that. Don't forget to smash the hell out of that like button for the Christmas season. So now that I'm more hyped than I was before, let's get to the vlog and let's get to my new present. I purchased this a few days ago, it finally came in the mail, and I didn't want to do a regular unboxing, so I went a step further, and that's why I did yesterday's video. But now it's time to get to the vlog and actually unbox my awesome present. Looking at it now, it looks a little smaller than, uh, I'm six foot two. This is what I bought. This is what I bought. This is what I bought. I don't think Santa took my height into consideration. I don't know about you, but that looks really tiny. They had, they had two sizes. A kids and like a bigger kids. And this thing's incredibly small. Holy smokes. The size isn't really gonna deter me right now. I mean, come on, let's face it, I own a welder. I have a welding degree. As long as this thing puts out the power as the bigger ones do, then I can modify it later. But right now, it's already made for a clown. I might as well clown around with it. I wonder if she's all ready to rock and roll. I will admit I got pretty high hopes because when I click the on button, it glows. That means we got power. Let's just see if it's enough to haul me around. Ah, uh, what the heck? Are you kidding me? I can't believe I was about to break both of these rules. Not only was I just gonna jump on this thing and not charge it for 12 hours, but I was also going to drive it in my house. It has tags expressing do not break those two rules. I'll listen to this one for sure. This one, see this one's yellow, so it's not as important. Orange, red, this is a little bit more important. It could be worse though. Batteries could not be included. Now what else do we have to stop for? Let me just say, this thing's a lot more complicated than I originally thought it would be. Get your charge on, baby, I wanna ride ya. <laughs> Prince, are you gonna join me with my toy? Come on, Prince. I wonder if it'll work on ice. I'm never gonna use these seat belts ever. Jeez. This thing's extremely small. We're gonna try it out. 
I've let it sit for 12 hours charging. It should be ready to rock. I'm kind of regretting my decision on buying the smaller one. Oh my goodness. I feel like a, a who. Really? It doesn't work on ice. Are you good? Yep. Uh, Prince, stay out of the road. Did you already break it? Did you break it? Of cars on my street. It's preventing us from having a really, really good time. Yeah! What do I look like on this thing? <laughs> like a ball of fun. A ball of fun? Yeah. What are you doing, Prince? That was kind of cool. incredibly fun. I don't know if the bigger ones would be more fun or if the bigger ones have bigger motors or bigger batteries but this one's really really cool. I think the only difference is the larger ones have like caster wheels up here. These ones got stockers to prevent you from flipping. Where'd my dog go? Prince get over here. Your seat belts are behind you. I think our front tire is a little low. I yeah. need some more PSI. And then mm. we can get more speed. Your seatbelt's dragging behind you. That's for safety. Cause an accident. That's for safety. Without that, this wouldn't be a safe operation. You know? That's doing a lot right there. If that weren't there, I would have fell into that snowbank three times, crashed into that car once, lost a tooth. Prince might have peed on us. I don't know. But one thing's for sure, I want more speeds. So we're and gonna get some a car more coming. Air. Wave, get the shot of waving. Mm -hmm. Good. Let's go get some air. Okay, I'm pumped because I'm gonna go get my air inflator, my power inflator. Fred, come on. Check this out. We have more cars than ever before. We like to wave to them now. Wow, that worked really good. Power inflator. Cole, you got to try this, dude. Oh, wait a minute, though. I gotta, I gotta be the first victim, though. I just put fresh air in it. Oh, here comes Andy, actually. We're going shopping. Oh, okay. This thing should be fun, though. I'm getting it. Oh, yeah, it's faster. Way too fast. Way, way too fast. I'm gonna 
Come do a donut. That was weak. There you go. It's not built many speed. I'm dis. <laughs> Increasing the tire pressure did increase the speed. As you saw, I kind of wrecked it. <laughs> he said he wants one of those. They're pretty neat. They are pretty neat. I think I have to get more experienced with it. Or maybe I'm just really too big for it. But it, it is an incredibly fun machine and I want to thank Santa very much. If you guys didn't see yesterday's video, go check out yesterday's video. It was a blast making it. It really spreads the holiday spirit as well. The battery's still holding a pretty good charge. If you if you guys have one of these and it's a different size than this, tell me what's tell me what's different. From yours to mine, I mean, I can always fabricate something and make this thing better, but I do look forward to riding it more and crashing more. So until tomorrow, machine freaks, 3D machines out, I'm gonna go put her back on the charger. Yeah!